Welcome back, peeps, to Let's Play Unavowed with me, Pixie Poison. So, in the first video, we were introduced to our protagonist here in the form of an exorcism. That's right, we were being exorcised of evil spirits by Eli and Mandana of the Secret Society of the Unavowed. You see, we chose our origin story and we are a budding actor just wanting to tread the boards when our director went nuts and was made a pawn of a muse of inspiration and just so happened to have a book on demon magic which we were stupid enough to pick up and get possessed by which then made us go on a slaughtery murderous spree so yeah that was a thing um but now we have been rescued and we've been brought back to the unavowed so yay for new beginnings no new beginnings new beginnings are good right so let's have a little look around now we've had a good sleep this is a very cool poster i love it a heavy metal band called axes of weevil i want that band to exist i want to see this band that's a genius name but this is a pretty cool photo check this it's cool an old publicity shot of you and maury how did this get here so cool thing about this peeps when you choose your origin story whatever origin you played through a photo related to that will appear so if you chose the cop it would be it would be something related to that or if you chose the bartender it would be related to that so it's it's really kind of cool it's very nice oh and look at this a whole pot of espresso just for you somehow it's always hot isn't that just the dream peeps i mean admittedly i'm not an espresso fan that's that's too much coffee for me i'm not a coffee fan so change that for hot chocolate and yes that is absolutely 100 percent the dream give me that but no we are awake we are sprightly let's go and let's go and have a walk around whoa hello you 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 just came out of a bottle you are awake did you sleep well you just came out of a bottle this astonishes you after all you experienced I huh. suppose I should have seen this coming introduction to the supernatural world can often have unpredictable effects on the mundane mind it may take some time for you to process it all <laughs> you came out of a bottle and I'm not freaking out I'm processing it okay no I like that that's me miss unpredictable <laughs> or who are you calling one day I like that. no that's me miss unpredictable well miss unpredictable you certainly surprised us last night I think you are going to make this transition just fine and this is good because there is so little time to waste my father Kalash is waiting to speak to you in the room beyond the red drapes when you are ready, seek him out. In the meantime, relax and explore the facility. I will be here if you have any questions. Lovely. Well, you can answer a few. You can answer a few now. Yes. Hi. Yeah, there's a photo of me in my room. I do not know. I am not being facetious. I honestly do not know. This building has housed many agents over the centuries, and they too have been given gifts, photographs and portraits of loved ones, precious possessions long since lost we do not question it we merely accept it and be thankful for it hmm. all right very well okay tell us a bit about the unavowed then certainly what is your question okay what exactly do we do here we are peacekeepers we protect the mundane world from the threats of the supernatural we help who we can destroy ones we must and recruit those who are willing. With you, I suppose we did all three. <laughs> all right. Three, three for three, I guess. So, how long have we been around? As a whole, for thousands of years. But the New York branch is only 400 years old. As long as there is need of us, we will be here. That's a nice statement, but I love it. Only 400 years, yeah. Just a, just a scant four centuries old. <laughs> oh my god. We do not exactly advertise our presence. We prefer it that way. But the truth is, the last century has seen a diminishing need for our services. Things have certainly changed. <laughs> well, they definitely changed now. I think my murderous spree kind of saw to that, didn't it? Yes. Supernatural threats have been escalating. It happened so suddenly we were caught unprepared. 
We had become complacent. We have not been recruiting. You are the first new recruit in decades. The first of many, we hope. Hmm. All right. Thank you. Thank you for that. I will do my best to answer. All right. Yeah. About yourself. Me? What do you want to know? So you're a genie? The term is Jin. And yes, on my father's side. And no, I do not grant wishes. <laughs> not even one. Just one little teensy wish. No, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll stop. How long have you been with the Unabout? When was the city founded? 1624. Yes, I was just a child, but it was around that time. Wow. 418. No, 19. My birthday was last month. It is difficult to keep track, but father always remembers. <laughs> Lovely. I will do my best to answer. Okay. All right, we'll ask her one more question about last night. Last night. Yes. You gave us quite the chase. We know nothing about the demon that was inside you, but it was a wily thing. <laughs> yeah, I wish I could remember. Be grateful that you cannot. It was taunting us, dancing just out of our reach, slaughtering whomever it could. But we got it in the end. Regardless of what happens next, we stopped it. We can all take comfort in that. I'm sure. Okay, thank you. Thank you. All right. I could have asked her about Eli, but we may as well just go and see him and see him ourselves, because uh, he's down here. I love this. These old stone steps are black with... Is that soot? Yeah. Because, check it out. The dude throws fire. <laughs> I love it. Plus, these are some cute pictures around his room. I love it. He has lovely pictures. Look at this. That's him and Mandana feeding the birds. That's just super cute. I love it. And this one's a nice one. It's a wedding photo. That's nice. Oh, black and white photo. So, gives you a few clues as to how old good old Eli is. Hey there. Hey! Don't surprise a fire mage like that. <laughs> Bad idea. Anyway, hi. You settling in okay? Hi. Oh, see that smile. How how can you not just go all gooey when you see that smile? Honestly. <laughs> you're throwing fire. <laughs> We've just done, you just came out of a bottle and go, you're throwing fire. You noticed. Yeah, I like to do this in my spare time. Keeps me sharp. But seriously, it took me a while to get used to this stuff. It's not going to happen for you overnight. But you'll get there. Faster than you think. Anyway. I'm sure you want to walk around. I'll be here if you have any questions. Oh, see, he's just so... He's just so nice, isn't he? Love it. No, questions. We have questions for you, Eli. I don't see why not. All right. We'll just do a, f we'll just do a few. We can, uh... We can do a bit more. Hey, we'll ask him about the photos. Huh, you too, huh? Wasn't long after I joined up that my first photo appeared. Scared the hell out of me. It had something to do with this building. It wants you to remember who you are, or who you were. Don't think about it too hard. I've been here 50 years and I still don't know how it works. Oh, interesting. Okay. All right, I'm curious about you. I guess if we're gonna work together, we should know each other. Ask away. All right. I love it. So you're a wizard, Harry? <laughs> no. Never use the word wizard. <laughs> it's a social faux pas or something. I'm a mage, with a capital M. The capital is also important. So that's what the books tell me. I never actually met another mage to find out. Fair enough. Does it hurt? Nope. Kind of tingles, but that's it. It's kind of like playing with light. At least when it touches my flesh. Clothes, though? I can burn them clear off and I won't even notice. Took about a decade and a dozen indecent exposure arrests before I managed to make my clothes fireproof. Oh, <laughs> hello, Eli Beckett. Sorry. <clears throat> focus, focus. Yes. Why do you live down here? Why do you think? Fire mage here. I could easily burn this place to the ground if I'm not careful. I needed a place to practice, and a room insulated with stone was the obvious choice. Besides, I don't feel the cold, so it's quite cozy down here. Yeah, can't 
Can't really argue with that. How long have you been with the Anavar? Since the Nixon administration. I'm, uh, older than I look. Yeah, we figured. Just how old are you? If you must know, I'm 92. It's the magic. Keeps me young. No surgery required. Well, that was a sad phase. Yeah, it, it is what it is, okay? I'm a mage. We live long lives. And a story. Sounds cagey. Okay, we won't we won't push him too much. He's we've got about got about as much as we can. He'll tell you a little bit about the unavowed, but he'll concede that Mandana knows more, so we've gotten more out of her. All right. Okay. Well, we'll leave you to it then. But we'll be back. Practice makes perfect. <laughs> we'll be back. All right. Okay. Let's go and see Kalash then, if he is expecting us. He's through these wet drapes. And there he is. There's Kalash. I love it. An impossibly old, impossibly muscled, and impossibly blue man. Gazes into the fire. <laughs> love it. And look at this huge blue crystal. I want this. I want this crystal. It's so pretty. And you want to look at this lovely picture? Picture of a mother and child. That child look familiar, peeps. That little cute little girl. I'll leave you to think on that one. All right. Hi, impossibly blue man. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, you're the new one, aren't you? Uh, yes, yes I am. Also, that voice is the great Sung Wan Cho. If you, if you don't follow him, you're missing out. He's awesome. Uh, yes, uh, you're blue. <laughs> dabba dee, dabba die. No, I'm here to join the unavowed. Nobody joins the unavowed, girl. We serve it. We are the wall against the darkness. As for me, I am Kalash. I am a jinn of the ancient kingdom, and I run this branch of the unavowed. And you? You were possessed. How would you let that happen? Excuse me? I didn't exactly let it happen. You picked up that book, didn't you? Exercised that precious free will of yours? I yes, as I thought. <laughs> In my day, even a newborn babe had wits enough to leave books of demonic evil alone. Mundanes today don't know they're born. The world has gotten soft. Needs toughening up. How tough are you, new girl? Ooh. <laughs> I got hit by lightning yesterday. Several times. The demon inside you took the brunt of that. You don't have a scar on you. Still took no. it? You have yet to experience your true crucible, but it will come. Oh yes, it will come. At any uh, rate, we have much to discuss and much to do. Settle in, talk to the others, get the lay of the land. I will call our meeting when you are ready. Well, I, I'm ready. We've, we've been talking. and I, I, I'm eager to prove how tough I am. Excuse me. The other one was, I'm an actor. I did all my own stunts. So, Hmm? What is it? You ready to start the meeting? Yes, I am. Let's do it. We can talk. We can. We can talk to him about these. But we will have another opportunity to talk to him about these, and we'll do that. We'll do that next time. Right now, I want us to get out onto the streets. So let's do it. Indeed, the time for waiting is past. Father, you met our latest recruit. Yes, I admit she doesn't look like much, but we'll see what this life makes of her. We were all neophytes once, Kalash. Most of us, Mage Beckett. Most of us. <laughs> Fine. I have read the reports on your last mission. Mage Beckett, is it true you summoned a void creature? Yes, by accident. I swear. Irrelevant. Magic is unpredictable. I understand this. What I don't understand is why you let it feed on human corpses. What will the mundane authorities think when they find tooth marks on the victims? Hmm? The creature was both a danger and an innocent. We reached a compromise. Yeah. That is all. We'll be the ones compromised if the two of you aren't more careful. Well, it was my idea. That may be, but you had no authority over them. It was their choice to make. Father, regardless of our choices, the void creature is gone. We have a more pressing concern. Yes, you let the demon escape. Your mission was a failure. Hey. No. 
They saved me. I wouldn't call that a failure. Saving you was a side objective. Nothing more. Saving people isn't a side objective, sir. And how many might now die because you let the demon escape? I was so oh. close. I had it contained, but it was stronger than I expected. I see. This is becoming distressingly commonplace. Nevertheless, Eli speaks the truth. We underestimated the threat. Then that will have to be sufficient. And now to the next item at hand. Your next mission. Mm, interesting. But no, that's why I like Eli. He's like, saving people is not just a fleeting thing. It's not a throwaway thing. Eh. Uh, Alright, my first mission. You are correct. In more ways than you can imagine. I have detected void activity in the East Village. Somewhere close to Aster Place. You are to travel there, determine the cause of the disturbance, and neutralize it. Oh. Alright. What do you mean by neutralize? It means do whatever it takes. Are you sure she's ready to go out into the field so soon? These are dangerous times. Dark forces are coming. We don't have the time for traditional training. If she isn't able to handle it immediately, we might as well kill her now. Hey. Trial by fire. Sink hey. Or swim. <laughs> Do or die. You want to prove yourself to the unavowed, you girl. Now is your chance. Meeting adjourned. I want that option. Oh, charming. Back into a bottle. Well, I guess that settles that. <laughs> yeah. No, I want that. I want that option back. That speech option where it says, "I am here," you know. Yeah. Okay. I guess we should get going. Yes. As soon as possible. And I really hoped I could take the day off. Anyway, we're ready when you are. I'm as ready as I'll ever be. Let's let's go. All right. Click to choose like your the destination. Down. Again. <laughs> Eli, the K train was discontinued in 1988. <laughs> was it? I could swear I took it to the Museum of Natural History not too long ago. <laughs> you did. In 1986. <laughs> I like these little snippets of conversation. They're just really funny. <laughs> oh. Uh oh. <laughs> so, I guess we won't be taking the K-Train. That's a good guess. Yes, we're not. <laughs> no, we will not. Right, so we need to choose our destination. We need to go to Aster Place. So let's go. Let's see. Let's see what void activity we can find here. Uh -huh. Hmm. Still raining. Look at this. <laughs> I love what it says. Just as charming. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Lovely. Ooh, the Alamo sculpture, aka the cube. Amazing. Right, let's go on a walkabout. It is raining, so let's keep moving. Ooh. You seem troubled. Is something the matter? Copper over there. Yeah. Maybe we should walk around the block. Whatever for. Great <laughs> idea. You're worried about the cop, aren't you? She doesn't know about the veil. Veil. Yeah, it became active when you signed up with us. It just disguises your identity. Anyone looking at you sees slightly different features. You are not the first new recruit to arrive with complications in the mundane world. The veil prevents awkwardness all around. Oh, okay. Mm, yeah, I suppose that makes sense. But also, so nobody I know will recognize me. Nobody in the mundane world, no. Only works on mundanes. Supernatural beings and the void touch can see through it easily. But that law enforcement officer, he will pose no threat. Lovely. Okay. Got it. Good. Let's keep going. All right then. Well, in that case, hey, officer. Evening, ma'am. Hello. <sighs> Rough night to be out. Yeah. You could say that. Wouldn't be here if I had the choice. Believe me. Yeah, what, what happened? Who wants to know? Uh, yeah, me. I, I live in the neighborhood. Totally. Yeah, yeah. Cool. 
Welcome home, I guess. Count yourself lucky that the fire didn't spread. I'll tell you one thing. You see a lot of bad people in this line of work, but it takes a special kind of nasty to torch a homeless shelter. Yikes. Yeah, a neighborhood full of corporate chains and they attack this place. Was anyone hurt? A few people killed. A lot of people with second or third degree burns. That is horrible. I won't argue with that. I was here when the rescue team arrived. They were carted off to Beth Israel Hospital. People here, they don't exactly have medical insurance. Oof. Damn. That's how we're treating it. Until we know otherwise, we're treating it like a crime scene. Which means, stay back. Okay. Roger that. I'll get going. I don't blame you. See ya. Okay, so we're not getting through there. He's not gonna let us through. So let's let's carry on. Let's see what else we can find. Maybe we can find something related to this. Hey, are you all right? You look a little. Whoa. Ooh. Where are you taking me? Ooh. Now we get to choose. We're in a. Strange kind of vision here. Yeah, I'm taking you out of the cold. That's all you need to know. I'll do whatever you want. Just help me. Please. All right. Yeah, just do as you're told and all will be well. Did you Oop. see that? I did. Neuromorphic projection. I've read the theories, but I've never thought. I think she's coming out of it. Are you all right? <laughs> what? What just happened? You blacked out, just for a minute, but... You had a vision. We saw it as well. A vision from your past. Well, your demon's past, technically. This area must have kick-started your brain into remembering. There was some psychic spillover. We could see it too. Spillover? Yeah. Psychic runoff. Try not to think about it. <coughs> this building the demon entered. It used to house the village eye. <gasps> didn't it go out of business a few years ago? Ooh. Indeed it did. What was your demon self doing here? Ah, for those of my peeps who were around for my Blackwell playthroughs, there's a little nod to the Blackwell series. And when I heard that, I did get a little squee. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, let's get in and find out. Agreed. We are wasting time. Right. Enough jabber. Let's go. All right. Let's get in. Oh. Well, that just figures, doesn't it? Yes. But we have some companions. Mandana's pretty sturdy. She can open this door. Yeah, get us in, will you? Mm -hmm. Lovely. It is done. Be aware that if law enforcement questions me, I am compelled to tell the truth. Good to know. Well, we will take the heat then. Cool. <laughs> it smells very human in here. Oof. Damn. Looks like people were squatting here. Half a dozen at least. Yeah. Isn't there a homeless shelter around the corner? Why live here? Good question. It could be pride. Or perhaps they gathered here for a specific purpose. Indeed. The graffiti is very... Yeah, the graffiti is very... That is... Mm. Doubtful. It's very distinctive. But this door over here... Reads Jordan. Let's see what's in here. Huh. Only one bed in here. Mm -hmm. Yes. This room was designated to separate one individual from the rest. Indeed. Someone of importance, most likely. Or someone undesirable. So this room either belonged to a cult leader or a prisoner. Most likely. Okay, one of the two then. Alright. Well, let's get looking around, see what we can find. Ah, interesting. PW equals heart. All right. Good to know. We'll keep that in mind. What else is in here? Nothing. Ew. Water stained mattress. Do we really want to touch it? Eh, okay. 
Alright, what's in these? What have you got there? An old fuse? Seems to still be intact. Ah. That will be good for restoring power. Ooh, and a photograph. I'm guessing that dude is probably going to be Jordan. That would be a good guess. But who is she? Obviously, his other half, or at least someone he was close with. I might not know a lot about those things, but don't they need electricity to work? I don't think the power's on in this place. That's... That is that is very logically like cannot cannot argue with that. Okay, All right. Let's let's go turn the power up. Ooh. Um. Hey. <laughs> Do not be alarmed. That was just a lost spirit. What you would call a ghost. They are harmless. You seem remarkably calm about this. Well, it's not like ghosts can exactly do anything. They have no physical form. We cannot interact with them, nor they with us. It is best to leave them be. Yeah, shouldn't we try to help it? Forty years ago, I would have joined you. But Mandana's right. There's nothing we can do for them. Death is part of the mundane world. We do not get involved. Let us move forward. Oh, but see, if we're... If, if we're in the same thing as the Blackwell universe, Rosa could help them. Maybe we can find Rosa. Get her to bring them to the other side. No, but no, no, we can't. Because... <laughs> uh, sorry, sorry. Anyway, no, no, we can't, sadly. But no, let's go down, let's go down in the basement. Because this is probably where we can put the fuse in. Ow! Oh. Damn it. Aren't you hurt? No, I'm fine. I tripped over... I have no idea. Can't see a damn thing. No, no, we can't. But Eli, you are a fire mage, so give us some light, huh? That's weird. I'm on. Is there a problem? The darkness. It's fighting the light. It always does. I'm being <laughs> literal. Whatever's down here, it's interfering with my magic. Ooh. All right. But luckily, it's enough to see this. It's here. Looks like a fuse is blown. Well, that would explain why we have no power. Let's light it up. Holy oh. gobsmacked. <laughs> it's a forest. A forest in a basement. Well, that explains <laughs> why my fire's so weak down here. Probably a natural defense mechanism for whatever this is. <sighs> Holy shit on a stick. Look at this. I mean, this is pretty, but... This, not so much. That's definitely blood. Yeah, that's that's blood right there. And this? Oh, I don't really want to lift that up, but we've... We, we gotta, don't we? We, we? we gotta. Oh, oh God. Oh, yes. Mm-hmm. Lovely. Well, this just got a lot more complicated. Yep. Oh, do we have to touch it? Yes, yes, we do, don't we? All right, get it over with. Real quick. <laughs> Male. Early to mid-60s, I believe. The cause of death is difficult to determine. He's got vines growing out of him. <laughs> Did a disease do this? Should we cover our mouths? But he's also covered in moss, too. Yes, this room has quite an abundance of forest life. Your vision, you were familiar with this building. Whatever happened here, you were involved. Or at least your demon self was. You don't remember anything. No other visions spring to mind. Mm, no, not really. Sorry. Don't apologize. It's not your fault. No doubt your demon covered its tracks well before leaving your mind. So, who is he? He has no distinguishing marks. He carries no identification. Whoever this is, it remains a mystery. <laughs> um. Hi. Again. Um. Is this body yours? It is a lost spirit. It cannot communicate. Are you sure about that? <laughs> it does appear agitated. 
Let us leave it be. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I don't want to irritate a ghost. Yeah, this is this is me leaving, backing away, real slow, like. <laughs> Do these drawings on the mm -hmm. wall mean anything to you, Mandan? I cannot decipher their meaning, but I do get a sense of reverence. Mm-hmm. Reverence? Like worship? I, yeah, I'd say so. It is only a feeling. No, that, that, that thing down there looked a lot like some kind of altar, like sacrificially altar. Yeah, that's that's a bloody kind of reverence there, I, I would say. Well then, peeps, we have stumbled onto quite the mystery here. We have found a forest in a basement with a body that is being consumed by plant life. And also, there is a homeless shelter that's been set on fire. So, yeah, we're in quite the rabbit hole here. But we shall get to the bottom of it and find out what this has to do with our demon selves in the next video. So, see you there, peeps. <laughs>